Hello friends, I'm Parwiz and this is our fifth video in uh, PyQt5 and Qt Designer are making a text editor application. Uh, in the previous video we have covered how you can convert our uh, your UI UI file to Python file. Uh, this is from the previous video. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous video, I highly recommend uh, to watch the previous video because it is the fifth video and we have covered a lot in the first up to four videos. We have designed our main UI and we have converted to the Python file. Uh, in this video, I am going to structure my application and also I am going to work on new and open uh, menu items. Uh, I am going to bring a small change in here. Uh, change this to uh, text editor and uh, copy this also we need change uh, in here ok uh, now if I run this you can see that now I have uh, my application my text editor application uh, after that I'm going to make a new uh, Python file uh, Python file. I call it uh, text uh, editor window like this, and uh, I'm importing uh, from uh, text editor import. We are going to import uh, UI text editor from the text editor from text editor import UI text editor. Uh, sorry view okay and uh, let me bring the project bar in here and from uh, PyQt5 import Qt widgets okay we are going to define a class editor window it needs a Qt widgets dot Q main window and also UI text editor. Uh, we are defining our constructor in here. Super. And uh, self dot setup UI self. And we are going to show the self dot show. Show our window. After that, we are going to uh, def uh, make a new Python file main, and uh, in here, I need some imports. Uh, import sys uh, from pyqt5.qt widgets import Q application, and uh, from uh, from this text editor window from sorry from text from text editor window I should new rename this because I give uh, space in here let me remove this text editor window refactor okay uh, from text editor window import editor window okay from this, this text editor window we are going to import our editor window class after that I'm going to make an application object uh, sys.argv uh, I'm going to make the uh, editor window object editor window after that I'm going to uh, perform my loop main loop app.execute uh, let me run this run you can see that now I have my text editor. Okay, now I'm going to work on new and open uh, menu items. Uh, the first thing I need to open your text editor, and here define a new method or fu uh, function uh, def uh, file new. It's easy. You can simply write self dot text edit dot clear. Okay. After that, in here, uh, you should connect this self dot uh, action new dot uh, triggered dot 
connect self dot file new. Okay. Uh, let me run this. And if I write something in here, and if I click on new, you can see that now it's work. It's working right now. Uh, file new. File new. Okay. Uh, after that, we are going to work on our open. Uh, for this, we are going to define a new uh, method in here. Def open open file. Uh, okay. Make a file name. Uh, I have a uh, PyQt5 uh, videos tutorials, and uh, you can watch that. Uh, some basics how you can open file on some basics uh, videos on there you can watch that if you want I will add the link in, in the video description uh, Q okay we need a Q file dialog uh, from pyqt5.qt widgets import Q file dialog Q file dialog uh, Q file dialog dot get open file name it needs some parameters the first one is self the second one is uh, we give a name open file and the third one is specify your path I give it home like this okay my drive C after that if file name 0 index if open file name and we give the mode I am writing R re readable mode uh, after that with if I am defining a data variable I am reading I am reading uh, my uh, text file if dot read and storing in data after that, I am assigning my uh, data to text edit self dot text edit dot set text and sorry dot set text and give your data. Okay. Uh, now this was completed. Our file new, and here we are going to uh, connect this self dot action. Action open dot triggered dot connect self dot open file. Okay, now let me run this. And if I open a file, you can see that now the part is on home because I give it to C. Uh, and if I choose a text, for example, this. You can see that now it is in here and you can new your file. Okay, uh, thank you guys. This was our um, uh, some basics of menu item and structuring our text editor application. We will work on this uh, application after that. In the next video, we will work on save, save as print, print, peer review, uh, export PDF, exit. Uh, we have a dead format. We will work on all of them. Uh, if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos don't forget to subscribe my channel